Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Ryan. And we are the Unpredictable Weather Guys. Today, we're out here with the guys um, from TornadoVideos.net and looking at the Dominator. We've got Dave and we got Kevin. Uh, these guys have uh, quite a vehicle here and, and we're just, they've been giving us a little tour of all the different features and the, and the uh, precautions they put into it to make it really safe when you go into a tornado. Oh, I love this car. I, I, I'd uh, trust it with my life, to be honest. Watch out, this house is going to hit us. I've been in a tornado with it before and uh, Obviously, going into a tornado, you're not going to feel 100% secure in anything. But um, but this was the best one to do it in, and uh, and yeah, I, I'm very. Uh, I think Kevin did a great job with this. We have uh, roll bars inside the vehicle. Um, it's kind of like uh, like you'd find in NASCAR, and you can see those right up in here. Also have some more up in the front, and that really protects the inside of the vehicle from uh, from the possibility of flipping in case in the worst case situation. The whole back exterior, uh, just in the last year, it used to be a lot more uh, kind of blocky, but now it's been redone, so we have a better visual out of the back. Before it was kind of difficult, uh, a lot of blind spots and stuff, but since we've uh, kind of sloped the back, you're able to see a lot more, and uh, it definitely helps in, in driving the vehicle. Here there's, there's uh, four batteries back here that all run in parallel with each other. When, it's, when the car is turned on. Um, they're actually all separated by solenoids when it's not running. But when it's running, all those solenoids kick in and they kick all these batteries together. Got a little road dirt on there, but. Oh, sure, yeah. There's uh, one battery's up here right now because we had to do some service, but there's four spot for four batteries right there. And that box right in the center there, you see it's carpeted. That houses all the uh, solenoids, electronics and everything, the data logger for the anemometer, um, and some various other outlets so that we can plug our radar in right. and power right. our radar off of that. Now when they're so. filming the show, they have a bunch of cameras that are kind of mounted internal and then they mm -hmm. have some video servers in the back that they're recording all that stuff on. Yeah, there's that, that's, that's, the their, that's the Discovery Channel's equipment. They shove that in there. And, yeah. Yeah, beginning of the season. It gets pretty right. crowded back there. It does, yeah. <laughs> That's why we built that box right there with yeah. a little bit of slope to it because they set all their audio decks and video decks right there. And the cameraman that rides in this seat here is able to turn around and easily access the decks and change tapes out. Right. Those are swivel chairs now in the back. Yeah, right? the yeah. back seat swivel. So, and that allows him to access that uh, because all their camera chargers and all that stuff all get packed into this corner. Then there's a box that sits there with all the audio decks and video decks. Then the small cameras hooked to the windshields. And uh, so there's actually four cameras operating from Discovery all the time. And then- Plus you guys do your own video. Plus Reed's yeah, handheld yeah. and Chris's handheld. So yep. yeah, there's uh, six cameras rolling in there pretty much all the time. These louvers here are to uh, evacuate dust. Hell yeah, we had that big problem. Yeah, with <laughs> four. First year we didn't, we didn't address that problem. And, uh, we got running down the dirt roads and stuff, and this this outer shell kind of captures all, all that yeah. dust, and it just billowed underneath. <laughs> it's kind of hard to breathe. And at some then points. it would, you know, it dust, you know, dust will find a way in, no matter how tight you got the car sealed up. And put some scoops in the front that take in fresh air and open these louvers up in the back to evacuate that dust. Um, <laughs> and now when the when the hydraulics drop, these close, so keeps this, any wind from getting in them. Sure. So, Shutter action on it. Mm -hmm. yep. Pretty simple operation. It 